Hello. I'm just getting some things ready. We'll be right with you. Oh, I know you already won today. You're getting your puppy. I love her name too, Pamela Dixie. Pamela is getting a baby beagle. Hello, hola, hola. Yes, however you say that fancy word. <laughs> okay, well, I have to also tell you, we're going to do the drawing. But then I want to show you two new collections. And I want to also let you know what we're doing live tomorrow. So speaking of beagles, so I've been playing here because a lot of you um, have asked, how do you use gesso? But then a lot of you don't have gesso. So we're going to be making tomorrow homemade gesso. And I have to, and I was stamping on it. So <laughs> I'm going to show you not only applying rice paper, but we're going to do the homemade gesso, which I really like actually better than gesso. Do you see, this is gesso. It's very white. You can get white or black with our homemade gesso that we're going to be making. And so I'll post a list on scrapbookers. You can create any color. You can go from clear to antique and I'm going to show you how to make your own for those of you um, tomorrow. Now, this one is dry. I went thicker, but you do need baking soda and you're going to need uh, cornstarch. So we're going to have some science projects tomorrow. Oh, Pamela, did you send me a puppy? <laughs> so anyway, we're going to be doing this with rice paper tomorrow. But right now, a lot of you did receive your sparkle eggs. So let me show you. The sparkle eggs was our, we do it every year. Hi, Candace. And if you place an order between a certain day, you get a you get an Easter egg with a ticket in it. And I don't know who got, okay, disclaimer. I should have myself on the camera, but I'm upside down. Hi. Disclaimer. I have no idea what boxes sparkle eggs went in. Shipping does it. Tomorrow, 11 o'clock. It's our usual time tomorrow. Um, the shipping department takes care of this. I do not. They put it in random boxes. She doesn't know you personally like I do. And she will not take any suggestions from me, Michelle. Her name is Michelle. You can start the bribes for her next year. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, for the drawing. So we have, let me show you the prizes. We have a set of the basic gray magnets. We have... From our winter logo, we have this bag. And inside the bag are goodies from Country Craft Creations, of course. Then we have three sets of Butterbee scissors, Cutterbee scissors, not Butterbee. And so there'll be three different winners for those. Then we have this cute travel journal from Prima. And it is the mini um, faux leather. No, it is bonded leather. These are just adorable. Let me show you mine. And then you'll get the set of notebooks. So I love mine. It's leather. And it's from Prima. And let me show you mine. So this one is mine. Um, it's still pretty stiff. But I stick it in my purse. And I use it while I'm out. Because it's nice and small. And there's my, see my elf report. I keep, <laughs> I keep things in there I want to keep so I don't forget. And then it does have a pen holder and it has this little leather pocket. Um, no, that was just from our Christmas. And what we did is that was our Christmas logo. We're always having something new, but we use those at retreats. And this was from our first annual um, card and cookie swap here in Utah. So this is going to be one of the prizes. And you'll love the Georgia Blues notebook. You can doodle, paint, plant. There's a paint.
paint page in there. So you can doodle while you're sitting there at an appointment. Then we'll have, oh, no, there's more to this. It's the score tape uh, package of three quarter inch and your um, score tape sheets. Then we have our new bright pink apron with the new summer logo. And the logos, hi, Kathy, the logos um, are hand drawn. So they are exclusively ours. They're hand drawn each season. And then I have an artist who goes back and she fine tunes everything that I give her. So we'll have the bright pink apron. Then we have the original logo. So this is our very ori first original, not our first logo. Our first logo was just flowers. But when Wilbur came into the picture, um, this became our summer logo and our original. And inside your bag, again, you'll have a phone folder. Um, there's the table tidy caddy, which is really cool. And your thumb notch. Oh, Lord. And I hear Wilbur getting ready to throw something down the stairs. So those are the prizes. So did everybody, does everybody have their tickets handy? Now, if you don't have your ticket, no worries. I'll be writing on the back and then I'll put the numbers on our Facebook page. So I'm going to first do the three sets of Cutterby scissors. So there'll be three different winners for these. And these are fabulous. I actually have three pairs at my desk at all times. <laughs> they are the ultimate for me. Um, fussy cut, just everything. Actually, Wilbur has jumped on the counter and got down some plastic cups. I can hear it. Okay, so let's get started. Let's take a first ticket. So our first ticket is one for a pair of the Cutterby scissors, one seven, two, one seven. So I'm going to take these right on to the prizes. Whoops. One seven, no, zero one seven, two one seven is our first winner. So when you get that ticket, I don't know who you are. <laughs> you need to notify me. Let's turn that off. Okay, there's one. Okay, second pair of scissors. Zero one seven two three five. Zero one seven two three five. And as soon as you notify me and show me your ticket, you have to show me your ticket. Take a picture of it and on Facebook in our group. We have a couple of groups. We have the Country Craft Creations store page. We have the social page. So you can be watching this from the social page. So I wanted to hit as many avenues as possible. Then we have Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations. And you do need to be a member. So if you're not a member of that group, just send us a, a friend request. But make sure you answer the questions. If you don't answer the questions, you don't get in. Well, Irene, they were randomly put in boxes. So I have no idea whose boxes they were in. Okay, our third pair of Cutterby scissors. 017-228. So 017-228. You need to message me a picture because I don't know who has these. I have no idea. All I know is I have the tickets from the warehouse. And she said, here you go. Okay, let's do the Georgia Blues Traveler Notebook and Notebook Set. Yeah, they were quite random. Okay, 017225. So zero one seven two two five. Well, the I don't know, Tanya. Here's the ticket numbers for the scissors: zero one seven two two eight, zero one seven two three five, and zero one seven two one seven. OK, 
Okay. Five sheets of your score tape, um, eight and a half by 11, and your three quarter inch rolls of score tape. Zero one seven. Two two seven. Zero one seven two two seven. Um, this was a special thing I do at Easter every year, Kathy. It's called either the golden egg or the sparkle egg. And if your order has an egg in it, it'll have a ticket. Like I said, I don't know what orders had the eggs. It's just through shipping. They put them in there and give me the tickets. So for the score tape package, 017-227. Now we do this kind of stuff a couple of times a year. We'll be doing something again for National Scrap Week Day. So when you place an order, there's different um, things you can either get. You can get um, double um, Wilbur rewards, things like that. Again, the, our score tape was 017-227. Okay, let's go for our a logo bag. This is such a cute little bag. I love this little guy. And so 017245. 017245. Let's tape it on the bone folder, my favorite. Again, the bag is 017245. And that has our first Wilbur logo on there, his puppy picture. Oh, the magnets. Let's do. Can score. Wait a minute. Cat, did you have a ticket? We may have had one of the winners. Cat, if you had a ticket, tell me what your ticket number was. That's exciting. So you're going to get a package of large and two small on this next one. Here, let's 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 get these shaken back up. Let's just really. Oh, cat won the bag. And then you'll just have to send me a picture, cat, of your ticket on scrapbookers. Yay! How exciting! Zero one seven triple two zero one seven two 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 for the magnets. So again, zero one seven two two two. How fun! I get to send out so much happy mail. Okay, for our winter bag, this was the bag, like I said, at our, hi, Barb, this was the bag that we, we gave at our um, cookie exchange and card party that we had here in Utah at Country Craft Creations. And inside, there's going to be, well, gosh, there's my favorite ink pad. You get the essential scissors. You're going to get glitter pen, pens. You're going to get... Graphic 45 um, flat back pearls. Ooh, and the little birdie handmade flowers. Now, little birdie handmade flowers are made out of recycled t shirts. Oh, Judy, you won the magnets? Awesome. Here, let's get Judy's name on here. And be sure, remember, I need to have um, just a picture of your ticket on scrapbookers or through Messenger. Oh, how exciting. Don't don't go away after. I'm going to also show you the new paper lines that came in from Echo Park and Cartabella yesterday. Okay. Oh, I grabbed two, so that's not fair. I'm not gonna. Oh one seven two one nine. Oh one seven 
219. Here, I'll put it on the back so we don't put it on top of Wilbur. So 017 219. Hi, Patricia. How are you? Okay, now our newest color, the hot pink um, apron. And I have to tell you, with um, our aprons, they will wash up extremely nice. But you wash them on cold water. We have black, raspberry, light pink, and white. And I love, love this one. So you wash them on cold, and then you dry them with like your lowest heat in the dryer and they come out just beautifully or you can line dry them but that is our summer logo which is Wilbur in the truck so he's going to be on all these prizes and that winner is going to be 017218 Oh, did you have her fixed yesterday? 017218. Oh, the poor baby. So our apron is 017218. Okay. So that was our prizes for our egg. Um, but let me tell you something. As you're watching this, don't throw your tickets away. Because you never know. There might be some surprise drawings between now and National Scrapbook Day. So please don't throw your tickets away. Keep them. Don't discard of them. Okay, we got our prizes all done. Oh, and you know what? The apron. The apron is wonderful. And you'll see even the girls in the warehouse wear them because of these pockets. You can be crafting and have your cell phone in there. Um, you can put all kinds of stuff. And they're a heavy campus and they're made okay they're made in the united states so they're usa made and the little lady that owns the company for these aprons just love her she's a small business so that's why we brought in the aprons because we wanted to support her um did i call 250 well we have 218 oh we have a winner on the back and we have a winner on that Let's see, Sherry. Did I call? Oh, Sherry, so you got a ticket? Nope. I'll go over the tickets again really quick. So we called 225. 225. 228. 235. 217. There's 218. And the magnets, we had a winner on 222. We had a winner on the bag. So we've got our winter 219 and 227 for our score tape. And that was the numbers that were called. So that is our prizes. And we'll get those all shipped out tomorrow as soon as I hear from the winners. But let's look at something else right now. Let's take a look at... The Cine Craft, because we're going to have either some trips coming up, or you never know, you might have some past trips, and now's the time to get all of that done. So the Cine Craft just showed up yesterday, made in the USA, Echo Park, and I just, I think it's adorable for a travel paper. Amsterdam, just a lot of pretty things, whether you went on a cruise, whether you're just traveling. Oh, Donetta, you won the score tape. Yay. Donna, it's, yep, 017-227. Don't forget, just send me um, a picture of your tickets.
flag. This is really cute. The colors, I just love the colors. And I love that it has that vintage feel. So you can get out those old travel pictures. We've got the green plaid, very pretty. Love this one. And then we have tickets for the back on the journaling cards. And the globes, which also is, I love it. It gives me ideas of painting the globes. So that's really fun. This is called Scenic Route, and it just showed up. I'm not going to show you all the embellish, um, embellishments and things. They are on the website, but I am going to show you the sticker book because I love their new sticker books. And I have shown before how you can layer those. Airplanes. So also really cute for a little boy. But like I said, your past and your present travels are going to be really great for this. And I know right now a lot of us are itching to travel. <laughs> Love this too. Hey, Wilbur. Our bags. And I love that it also, I'm going to go back really quick. I want to show you something when I'm done here. Love it. Um, our four by six cut of hearts. And we have postage marks and stamps. Okay. The sticker sheet too is really cool. I love I just love the colors. I love the colors of this. But if you're looking for a masculine paper, and as you know, masculine papers aren't exactly abundant for some reason. But look at this. I was going through here, and I put these together because I want you to see that right here is an, these are absolutely fabulous. Now you could do front or back for the guy. So maybe you don't want travel, but you're looking for a masculine. I'd even use that for masculine. I could use either side here for masculine. So I really liked the fact that this had such dual purpose. This was the cut of parts. Um, some of these you could still use in a masculine theme without bringing travel in if that's what you're looking for but look at the masculine papers that's what caught my eye on this yes yeah, father's day it caught my eye to the point of wow it's masculine papers <laughs> and the sticker books if you haven't seen the new sticker books by echo park they're so worth it because they're loaded um these are not thin stickers either. They're more of a die cut. That's heavy. That's a nice piece of chipboard. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Especially now the things we see. I can use that chipboard for something. A tag. Anyway, the, the stickers are a little bit smaller. So they're dual purpose, dual use if you want to use them in a planner. And you get a ton of them. They're just images. But again, they're great masculine images without... A bunch of travel words and I thought that was just super neat little banners super easy to take off and super easy to use definitely um, if you have an aviation guy in your family and then some different travel stickers so I'm going to be using this one and then um, I wanted to go back there we go because you have your alphas and you have some individual pieces which are really great to fill in those spots um, when you don't know what to put on a page and then the words so we have all the different words Again, memories, life is good. Family, Father's Day, perfect. 
and then you've got dual use but this one i love you've got all these different border stickers so cards these are going to be super great for cards and then it starts over again so you'll get two of each in your sticker books I don't want to mess that up, but it doesn't want to stay once you take it off. That's why I use glue on, on mine. Okay, let's just stay right there, little guy. So that one is the scenic route, but there's more. There's the all the embellishments, tags and pockets. Or no, they call their tags and frames. Ephemera, it's all on the website. I, it was on last night, but it is extremely they did a great job they did a super good job but wait till you see this next one <laughs> and i know when i first saw it i thought hmm but you know what we have a lot to tell right now in our story especially when it comes to school and you probably have, some of you are having some really good school memories oh thank you tc just posted all the winning numbers I love how we all help each other out. Um, my thoughts were, I'm, I want to go back because my children never really got full books because, you know, you have four kids. And uh, this is by Steve Duncan. And a lot of you remember Steve Duncan from October Afternoon. And he did all those fabulous October Afternoon designs that I know I fell in love with early scrapbooking. So when I saw a couple of years ago that... Um, Echo Park was used like utilizing his talent. Well, most Cardabella, they're the same company, but he doesn't do, you know, a lot. It's, he's very particular because he's, he can be, he's Steve Duncan. I think he's wonderful. And when they came out with this, I fell in love again. Um, there is tons of things you can do. Jennifer just posted that a planner for next teacher for next year. So that would be such a wonderful gift. I live by a lot of teachers and we have some really sad teachers that they don't get to hug and kiss and say goodbye. Um, Utah closed our schools and my granddaughter doesn't get to graduate walking. Down. She graduates, but not walking down the aisle with all the work she's done. She'll graduate from high school. And she also has an associate's degree in engineering because she's in a college high school. And it, it's kind of sad for everybody, but it's understandable why. So, well, hello, Sally. So, Jennifer, I will send this to you. Jennifer's going to do a tutorial for us, right, Jennifer? <laughs> um, beautiful, beautiful planner for a teacher next year. You still can give the teachers a gift. And, you know, their heart's broken, too. Um, they're in school with those kids all year long, which, to be honest with you, makes no sense to me. Utah closed the schools, but they're not closing the daycares. Make sense? Not to me. Okay. Anyway, back. We don't want to talk about that. Um, again, this is school days. So Stephen Duncan, very vintage. Isn't it just adorable? So you got some vintage there. So you definitely can go back. And the plaid. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, you're going to use your camping planner. Well, Jennifer, that's that's fabulous. You don't have to do a new tutorial. Just let everyone know that you did the tutorial using this. Um, it doesn't have to be a new tutorial. Because not everybody camps, but this would be so adorable. So I will get it out to Jennifer. If you have followed Jennifer Palmer, she's on our design team. She made a camping journal, and so she's going to use this, and she'll do, I think, a walkthrough. Jennifer, I'm throwing you out there. I'm so sorry. I should have asked your permission first, but um, it's adorable. Yeah, but Sally, you have pictures from when you taught, so you really need you need to utilize this. Look at that. It's bright. It's happy, but yet it has that antique -y background not white and of course our cursive board now oh i have to show you something that goes with this let me get it out of the box here i am gonna have to show you some of it because it just is amazing I just 
Vale. La pared. about that look at this stencil we're gonna play with some stencils tomorrow but I have to show you this so stencils can be used for a lot of things with ink uh, but look at this stencil it's on the website and it matches it's so awesome Oh, yes. G45 was one of my favorites, too. I'll get that in in a minute. But the stamp set. Now, one thing I love is they started, their stamps are made in the USA. As you know, though, some items cannot be made. Well, no, they can be, and I'm hoping that everybody's going to go to it. Hopefully, they're dies. So, I did not get the dies with this set, but... The stamp set is awesome. You can stamp those pages. So this one, I know I'm going to be using. I love the stencil. And it matches. Just some fun backgrounds here. And there we have the chalkboard in black instead of green. ABC primer, yes. Thank you, Stacy. And our three by four cut aparts. So cute. And that stencil without the writing. So it matches the stencil. Here we have scattered pencils. And the stars. And crayons. Remember when we get our new box of crayons at the first year? I don't know if they still give them crayons like we got. And then we'd get one after Christmas. It was so awesome. And these are kind of polka dots, but they're not. It's, it's hard to see. And this one is called School Days. So cute. Remember when we used to do normal math? <laughs> Great background. And this one, I love this one. This one is apples and ABCs. Pretty cute, huh? And on your stamps, there's an apple. So you can use it for other things. And there's also a clock. And cute. So you can actually use these with your kids if you're just teaching reading words. These would be adorable to cut back them with different colors of cardstock in red, yellow, and blue. And the kids could have their own set of reading words. ABCs, and then you can see the back is going to be that green polka dot. So this is the alphabet. Here's our border strips. Super adorable. And I love this one. So, dictionary. Hinder, hitch, hither, hold. Just some cute words. <laughs> Sever, they put hind quarter in there. Where to go? And hippo, yeah, hind quarter. Uh, the back half of a carcass. <laughs> Which, after this quarantine or stay at home, all I want to do is eat. Um, hippopotamus, higher, cute words, cute words, lunch boxes, and just a nice plaid on the back, and let's take a look at the sticker sheet, so you can kind of see the background 
it's not really it's not white it's it's a straw color ruler at the bottom and there is washi tape with this one that i just love so that's on the website so there's our stickers and on the sticker book again super super cute stuff so even giving this to a teacher would be really cute with a gift or for her planner his planner I love this whole sheet of alphabet. I know, Terry, they, they do. They put great, great pictures like this. No, I didn't, Tanya. But I know it came from us because we watched the clouds leave Utah and go to you last night. <laughs> yes, yeah, Stephen Duckin is awesome. Isn't this awesome? This book belongs to great work. Really cute. Big yellow school bus crayons. Um, the images are just fabulous. So my favorites, teacher, subject, friend, book, class, sport, and song. Yeah, they did such a good job with this report card, school pass. So many fun things can be done. Recess, first day of school, school memories. So it starts over again. So there's two sets of all those. There's your sets on the back. So these are on the website. Again, the stamp set, all of it, there's more. And I love, just love it. I thought this was the, I just love it. It's a great stencil. If I can get it back in there. Okay. Well, that is our fun for today. I will go on and post the winning tickets again, just in case um, you missed the, the first part, which was the drawing. So you'll want to rewatch if you, if you received in your order up to April 13th, if you had received one of the sparkle eggs, then you would have had a yellow ticket. And we did the drawing on the yellow tickets. And I'll post those numbers, but check out the website. All the new stuff is there for you. And I'll see you tomorrow at 11 when we're going to do our project. And again, I'm going to be working with Gesso. And... And I did kind of show this in the beginning. So this is gesso, professional gesso, when you buy it. And a lot of you I know haven't used it, don't know what it's for. It's a primer. But a lot of us don't have it. So I'm showing how to make gesso tomorrow. And a couple of things I used. I want to show you the difference. Um, you're going to want baking soda. And you're going to want cornstarch. And of course, glue. I just use my art glitter glue. A lot of you probably will gasp because I'll be pouring it out. <laughs> I'll be using some water and you can use paint. So I added a little bit of paint here to change the color. This, this homemade gesso, you can do what you want. Gesso is a primer. But I found without your baking soda, you're going to have bubbles when you heat it. This is with, it made a much with baking soda. Baking soda takes away those bubbles, made a beautiful flat. Um, yes, and I stamped it to see how well it would hold. It makes a gorgeous surface. I don't have any ink. So that you can stamp your project. So we are definitely going to be making our own gesso tomorrow. See how beautiful, and then it doesn't smear either. So if you are like me, the one thing about gesso and my, um, I got to show you. When it comes, I, I'm torn between which one to use tomorrow, but I think I'm going to use this. But there's no white in here, and I know that this would cover it, but um, making my own, see, I was able to match. And that way, too, if you don't want... If you don't want to go out and buy it, you don't need to because it, 
made a beautiful surface, but you've got to have baking soda. Otherwise, you will have these bubbles. That way I can show the difference when I was playing. And you can also see the difference with the white and your homemade. It just was a nice smoother. So tomorrow, 11 o'clock, have a mixing bowl, just some old paint brushes. Um, you're going to want a tablespoon measuring. Um, you want glue. Now, if you don't want to use your art glitter glue, I know, <laughs> and you have some PVA glue, which might look like this. I've had this forever. You can use this. You can also use just Elmer's glue, but really these two glues would be your best bet. You don't have to put paint in there. Um, this one, this one is more clear. It didn't have paint in it. So you don't have to, if you want a clear background, but I'll be putting a little bit of the color in. Once you have baking soda tomorrow, cornstarch, and you're also going to want wet wipes and water, just water, just tap water. And we're going to make our own gesso. And then I will be putting this on a graphic 45 book box. That can be a gift or anything. So I'll be covering the inside of here with some paper and then we'll be doing this. So tomorrow at 11, that's what we're doing. We're going to make a mess. And then I'm also going to show you printing on my printer. And I have some printer paper that is eight and a half by 11 sticky backed. So join us then and I'll see you again live tomorrow. Bye everybody.